So Kevin decided to take a vacation. I don't know if he really deserves it, but whatever. Me and Paul here are gonna step in and give him a little treat on top of the vacation. We're gonna get some stuff done around this homestead, starting with fixing up this big bed. And you have probably seen Paul around here. He helps out at the Epic Homestead all the time. So he's definitely certified to help us today in this task. Sort of, yeah. Uh, we've got a lot to do. This is only one part of the projects <laughs> that we have going on, so. Yeah, I don't it's know. gonna let's be a multi-parter. So yeah. let's go over to that whiteboard though, because we do have some idea of what Kevin wanted, and we're just going to try to make it work. This beautiful drawing right here is the backyard in question. So the idea is that this is the thing we did last video, where we built that little flower bed up front. And Paul and Kevin were talking the other day. I think you guys figured out that the idea is that we want two paths coming in from either side? Correct, yeah, and then going out at the top too with okay. a big area in the middle so you guys can do videos and whatnot. Oh, okay, so yeah. we'll have like a nice little circular kind of vibe area. Maybe we'll put a table there, make cooking demos, things like that. Yeah. We have to figure out how to connect these back beds over there, but let's go take a look and try to put this idea into action. So let's set the stage here. Here's the big bed in question, and this is what we did last video where we put this flower bed. And I'm not gonna name names, but all I'll say is the person isn't here, but somebody broke this pipe, so we fixed that today. Paul was able to get it all patched up. And so Paul, the idea is that where you're standing is going to be the start of the path, right? Yeah, we're gonna be walking through. So a little meander maybe, so it's not straight lines, but we're gonna come to the middle. That'll be like some sort of circular thing. Big circle right here. And then that bed behind you is probably going to be combined in, right? Correct, yeah. So we'll have the two long beds in the back, the one with peas right now, the one that's unplanted and then we should have two paths that are coming off the end as well. Perfect, so one path coming in that corner, one sneaking around that apricot there. Yep. And then it's gonna reconnect back here so that there's a flow way into the shed so you can grab your tools, come back out, hit the garden. So let's get this all shaped up. All right, so Paul's moving some of the transplants out of the way because even though we just put this bed in, we decided that we wanna cut a little bit of that corner into this build. So you already grabbed that start. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of try to create some rough vision of what this path is gonna look like here. So I like the idea of it having a little bit of curvature to it, some sort of flow line, just to make it look a little bit more natural so it's not just straight lines everywhere like it was before. I'm gonna force a little bit of my loose design into Kevin's backyard here. So I think kind of like that is the rough path over here. And then like we said, there'll be this circular kind of chill area so we'll do this little circular path. Then that's going to come out again and meander this way. So the path is gonna look like this, big circle over here. And then you could just walk right on out of the garden to go do something else. We already have this table here, which is four feet wide. So if we build a circle in the middle, we want it to be at least four feet at the widest point but probably closer to six. So what Paul has here is a stake, another stake with a string on it. The string is about three feet in length, so it should give us about a six foot circle total in diameter. That'll be big enough to hold the table and also have some room for a bench or a couple seats. And it won't take up as much space in the garden. So I think that'll be good. Once we have this sketched out, we'll dig out that pit We'll start moving the soil around and I'll show you exactly how the paths are gonna to come together. The circle has been defined. We have the rough idea of all the pathways. Now what we're doing is filling in all the low points where the old paths were. So we're just going to be breaking up some of the soil here, leveling it out, and then I'll show you exactly what these paths look like. I think it actually looks really cool. I used some water to highlight the pathways. Let's take a look. So here we are standing by the chicken coop. That is the bed that we're keeping as well as this one. So what I've done is I've reinforce this pathway here. And then Paul and I carved in all these nice curved in pathways. So like I said, I got the ground wet here so you could see it more easily. You come into the middle here and then you get to this nice big circular area where you could put a table or something else. We're thinking maybe wood chips here or maybe we could convince Kevin to build like a tiny round deck here. I think it would look amazing. I'm up for it. I mean, <laughs> come on, you can't beat that. I know, that would look so cool. But so we have the pathway there, like I said, going to the shed, high convenience there. We have the flower bed that's still in shape there. I just want to show you one other option here. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to do something like this without Kevin's actual approval in his garden. But if you take a bunch of these little boards and you cut them to tiny lengths like this, it would make for a very pleasing looking pathway in my opinion. It's almost like a boardwalk. Keep your feet a little bit cleaner and make it very defined where the pathways are. Here's where we're at right now. I think we're gonna leave. We might plant a little bit, but we do have a couple other projects to do. 
There's one over here that we're gonna have to pick up tomorrow, but let me go show you what we're going to do. So this area you might recognize, this is where we did our tomato growing experiment. And this is actually going to become an important part of the Epic Garden. It's going to become a massive test garden bed. We're gonna be running a whole bunch of trials here. We've expanded the area out to this white flag. It's roughly, I think, 24 by 24 feet. And we might divide it up into different sections where we try different things. But we do need some more materials to finish this project. What we were thinking is that we would actually get some two by fours or maybe four by fours and basically build a gigantic wooden raised bed around the entire perimeter of this area. I think it would look really cool. It would make it very contained and sort of defined in the garden. And if we are going to be doing a lot of experiments, we might as well have a dedicated permanent setup. So that's the plan. We'll see you guys tomorrow when we get that lumber. Paul and I are back for day two of building things around Kevin's garden while he is away. Today we are working on this experimental patch. So like we said last time, we need to build a frame all the way around this to make it legit so we could break it up into separate areas to run all these cool experiments for you guys. So let me walk over the plans with you guys first and then we'll get right into it. All right, so here is the big patch from a distance. And the basic idea is that we have this giant 24 by 24 foot square. And what we're going to do here is we're going to be using four by fours. These are just regular construction grade four by fours, nothing that's going to last that long. Because again, this is experimental garden. We might break it up again in the future, but let me show you what we're doing here. Basically, we aren't professional carpenters, right, Paul? Uh, well, I don't know. Backyard <laughs> for sure, but <laughs> yeah, not we'll professional. Keep it natty. Not professional. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to do yesterday was uh, a joint I already forgot the name of like a slip joint where you carve out the little chunk and then you overlap the two boards. Did not work. What we ended up doing instead was just cutting a 45 degree on the miter saw. We're gonna join these two with a bunch of screws and then every board's gonna get at least one rebar hammered into the earth to keep it anchored. We're gonna just work our way around. The basic premise here is that we're gonna start on this corner, level these two boards to each other. Once these two are level, we'll tie them together and then we'll build off the rest of the bed from that. So. Let's get into it and see how long this takes us. What do you think, Paul? Is there gonna be a, be a problem? Huh? <laughs> is there gonna be a problem? There might be. So I think the basic premise that we're gonna do here is start on one corner, level these two boards to each other, yep. and like, that's it. Yeah. Cause we can't, this is too much to level basically. Yeah, I mean, it's over 200 square feet yeah. to be leveling. <laughs> so we're not, <laughs> not doing that. Do that, we're not that professional. But we do, we do want the boards to actually meet up with each other nicely. So we'll go ahead and level this. We'll just dig this out, drop this a little bit tie this into itself, work our way down, hit the next corner. So obviously I think we need to start digging here. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, so let's get it done. The moment of truth here, did we make a square or did we not? I don't think so. <laughs> it's but. okay, you know what? I don't think any of our cuts were consistent this whole time. So it's probably not directly our faults. You know what? We're just keeping it natty, right? <laughs> That's where we're going here. Natural <laughs> lines, natural mistakes. And uh, here it looks like we're off by... Mm, three inches, right? Yeah. Maybe two. Maybe two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we got the corners in. Everything's kind of done. So let's see what this looks like and what we need to do next. Actually, sure. we do have a special step next. So all the boards are screwed into each other and it is now one long square, basically. It's a big bed. A big bed, <laughs> really big bed. But there is nothing to stop these boards from literally just moving around. I guess Paul's on it now, so I can't move it, but technically we could slide this whole structure around. Yeah. So to stop that, what we're going to do here is put a two foot rebar section on every single corner piece. So this piece here, that piece there is gonna get one. The middle section is gonna get two because that's gonna be where the most force is pushing outwards. This should keep it all in place. And we were just talking as we built this, that the cool thing about this bed is that it's also going to stop all the runoff of mud and dirt into the pond, which is actually something we struggled with in the previous year when we had a bunch of rain. For so sure. It was, it was really bad last Really year. bad, like the whole pond turned brown. <laughs> so like not exaggerating. So this is actually a multi-purpose thing. It's going to frame up the bed nicely, allow us to split it, and it's also going to protect the pond. All right, Paul, what do you think? We got it all in. And it's all in. It was perfect. <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty decent, it's pretty decent. Pretty good. Look, I mean, we're talking about a 24 by 24 foot raised bed essentially, and this isn't bad. So let me show you what we did here. As you saw, we have the corners with two lag screws going into the other timber. And then every single one of these end boards 
has a piece of rebar hammered into it. You get into these middle sections, you have the joints like this, where we cut the 45. And then each one of these gets one, two rebar. So every single wall basically has four rebars in it to hold it all together. This whole dimension now is all squared up. Actually, honestly, that's pretty straight. It is. Like, <laughs> it's actually quite straight. So I'm very pleased with that. So basically now the last thing we're gonna do here is level this area. We're going to just move all the soil around. I mean, perfect? No. no. <laughs> Close, maybe. Close, maybe. We're gonna just try to at least fill in these gaps, try to get it at least visually level. And then we're thinking about putting a cover crop, but first we need to level this up. I think we're done. I think so. Honestly, thoughts? Looks great. This and the other area that we did, I mean. I think he'll be happy. I think so. I <laughs> so, hope so. I mean. He better be. He better be. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what it looks like. We did get it, honestly, pretty level on the wood here, or on the soil, I should say. I'm surprised it wasn't that hard to do this, but basically this whole patch of the garden is now devoted to you guys. We'd love to hear what you guys think. We'd love to test out whatever you guys want. So keep on growing. Good luck in the garden and we'll see you guys next time.